This demonstration explores another variation on the theme of the relationships between pressure, volume, and temperature for a gas. In this case, I have a tube with a piston at the top, and I'm going to push down on the piston suddenly and quickly, thereby compressing the gas in the tube to a much smaller volume and a higher pressure. As my compression will be sudden, there will be no time for the heat generated from my work on the gas to be dissipated to the outside surroundings. Instead, the temperature of the gas will rise from absorbing that heat energy. Now, we could measure the temperature of the gas with a thermocouple of some sort, but it's a bit more fun to demonstrate the temperature rise by placing some substance that can be ignited into the tube. In this case, there is a small wisp of cotton at the bottom. If the temperature becomes high enough, the cotton should ignite and smolder. Well, actually, that's a perfectly OK demonstration. But I've taken the liberty of making it all a bit more exciting by using gun cotton instead of plain cotton. Thus, the cellulose that is cotton has been soaked in nitric and sulfuric acids to generate nitrocellulose, or gun cotton. And the nitration causes it to burn much more quickly once ignited by providing a local source of oxygen that's not simply the rather dilute atmospheric gas. Shall we give it a try? Wow! That gun cotton flared and disappeared instantly on compression of the air in the tube. Let's see that one more time. OK, that's a good illustration of how PV work can be transformed into heat. We'll be doing many problems to compute such conversions as we proceed in the course, so that you'll see how to predict such changes quantitatively.